This series is going to be on macroeconomics and macroeconomics is one of the major subdivision in the study of economics. So in this lesson you will learn what it is, why it's important and its major principles. You will also have a chance to take short quiz after the lesson. So what is macroeconomics? Now macroeconomics is the study of economics involving phenomena that affects an entire economy including inflation, unemployment, price levels, economic growth, economic decline and the relationship between all of these. Now whatever that I mentioned, these all occur in large scale. You know, employment occurs in large scale, inflation happens in large scale. So you see all these things are happening in a large scale. Now if you see the other subdivision of economics, which is the microeconomics, here we deal with variables like households and businesses wherein the decision that is made by these two entities and how they behave in the marketplace is discussed. So basically if I have to tell you everything in one word or maybe two words, it's called macroeconomics deals with the bigger picture. So bigger picture is your two words because macroeconomics it analyzes the entire economy. You get it? The entire economy of a country. That is what is macroeconomics all about. Now that we are done with the definition, the next important question that comes is, what is the importance of macroeconomics? Or in other words, why do we need it? So to answer this question, I want you to think of it this way. We all live in a complex world. While we are living in a complex world, we are all interconnected. Let me give you a random example. Uh, let's say railways, you know, you and I, every one of us travel by train. Now if the train industry is not doing good, isn't that going to affect us? It is, right? It is also going to affect businesses because train helps in transportation, goods, freight trains, right? Similarly, now think of it, why train industry would go into depression? So one of the ways it can go into depression is due to fuel prices, right? We need fuel to run train. Suppose the fuel prices are excessively high, it will definitely hit the train industry, right? Similarly, what else? Iron industry, right? If iron industry is in depression, that will definitely hit the train industry as well because the entire train industry is dependent on iron. Do you see the interconnectivity? That is what I mean interconnected world. And do you also see the complex relation? I mean fuel prices is dictated totally through different variables, but it still has a direct impact on train industry. So that is what I mean when I say that we live in a complex world, but we are still interconnected. So like this, there are many examples through which our job and businesses gets affected. And if our jobs and businesses are affected, then how are we going to earn money so that we can buy goods and services for our basic survival and function? You know, to survive in this modern society, we need money to buy goods and services. So to understand this complex world and its interconnectivity, macroeconomics helps us in understanding what makes the economy grow and what makes it contract. Now coming to the principles of macroeconomics, macroeconomic study focuses on three broad areas. These are also known as three economic agents in the economy and they are households, then we have firms and then we have government. So these three are the main economic agents in an economy. So the interrelationship between these three agents is what macroeconomics deals with. Now in the coming videos we're going to learn more on that. So I hope in this video you have understood what is macroeconomics and its importance. There are a few questions that I've prepared based on this video. If you may please answer it and give your answer in the comment section. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you want to see more of such educational content, make sure you're subscribed. By doing so you'll get an alert when my next video comes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.